Hey there guys and welcome back to Tech Easily. So in today's video I will be teaching you guys how to create a basic Hello World program with HTML. Now in the first half of the video I will be going through some basics, some really really basic points about HTML and then in the second half I will be demonstrating on how to create your basic Hello World program using HTML and I will also be walking you through what text editor to use and how to actually run the program in your browser. So if you're interested to see how to do this then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is your actual text editor. Now, since this is for beginners, like from the very beginning, um, I'm going to use Notepad or you can also use Notepad++. They're both very similar, but because everyone has either used Notepad or has Notepad already, you don't need to install it in your computer. So I'm just going to be using this. For Notepad++, you actually have to download it. So for the purpose of this video, I'll just use this one and let's start with some of the basics. So HTML, what does it actually stand for? It stands for Hypertext Markup Language and the reason behind this is because it contains markup tags which are basically like a set of instructions for the browser to perform and it tells them of the task that has to be performed. So that's basically the meaning behind that. So the next thing to note is the file extensions. Now, in order to be able to distinguish between uh, another type of file or a HTML file, is it will either end with the file extension of .html or .htm. This is like, for example, if you have a CSS file, it will have an extension of .css. And if you have a JavaScript file, it will have an extension of .js. JS. This is what distinguishes one file from another. So right, the third thing to note is that HTML is actually not a case sensitive language. So that's actually really good because if you have your HTML tag here, this is exactly the same as the uppercase HTML written inside this tag here. So it doesn't really make a difference if you're writing it in uppercase or lowercase. Some languages are case sensitive though. And example of those languages would include like Java, C++, C. There's actually many languages that are. So we're lucky in that sense that HTML is not a case sensitive language. Okay, and the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is that um, you always have a start tag and an end tag in HTML. And it's always good practice that if you have a starting tag, you will also immediately create an end tag. And how you distinguish between these two is that the ending tag will always have a forward slash um, in the second part. Great, so now that we've covered some of the very basic points about HTML, I'm going to actually start this Hello World program with you guys. The first thing that happens in every HTML file is that you have to actually have a HTML tag. And since I'm opening this tag, it's always great practice to close the tag you open right away. You don't, when you have hundreds of lines of code, you're going to get really confused if you just keep on opening tags and you don't close tags. Now, if you're using professional text editors or like uh, programming softwares, then they do actually tell you that they give you little errors to inform you that you haven't closed your tags or that you're missing a closing tag. But some basic editors like this one, it won't. So just make sure you always close your tags. So inside this HTML, I'm going to have a header. And the header tag actually contains information about the title or relating to the title. So inside this header, before I put the title in, I'm actually just going to close it. Now I'm going to be adding in my title and I'm going to close this as well right away. Now whatever I, I write inside this title here is what's going to be displayed inside my um, browser's 
uh, title bar or the pages tab. Now I'll show you guys that when I do the demo. So I'm just going to write first program here. You can write anything here. It's basically what your tab is going to be called when you run your program. Next, I'm going to have the body tag, and this is a very, very important tag. This is basically it will contain all the content for your document, um, such as all the images, your tables, lists, anything that you want to put in here. So I'm going to write hello world inside my body. Now there's a million things you can do. You can um, turn this into bold writing, you can change the color, change the background, but we will be covering those in later on tutorials. But the purpose of this one, I'm just going to write hello world and that's it. Now let's get to the fun demo part. So in order to be able to run this program in my browser, I must first save it. So to save it, you go to the top left hand corner here, you click on file and then save as and then you can choose where you want to save it on your computer. Um, just make sure that you um, save it with an extension of .html, like I told you guys. So I'm just going to put in first program, and this is called Camel Casing, where you don't have any space in between your title and the second word is the, sec the first letter of the second word is in capital letters. Now this part here is very important. This is going to distinguish whether your file is a HTML file or not. So make sure you put in .html and then click save. Now since I saved my program on my desktop, you can see that it actually has appeared here. But you guys can just go to the exact location where you saved your program. And you can see because my browser, the default browser I have set is Chrome, so it's going to run my program in the Chrome browser. But if you want to change this, I have a video, I link it. Okay, so to run my program, the only thing I have to do is double click on my first program file here. And as you can see, it says first program as my title. And if I go back, I'll open this up so I can show you guys side by side. So it says first program in my title, and that's what appears as the title of my bar. And then whatever I had in the main body gets displayed here. So I have hello world written here. And as you can see, it shows up here. Now I can literally make any changes I want to this. And after that, I am going to click on file and save. And now to demonstrate, to see the changes happen in my browser, the only thing you need to do is press on this reload button. And then once you do that, you can see that it has, my title has changed from first program to my first program. Now there's many things I can show you guys like the CSS, how to highlight a certain word or put it into paragraphs, add color, I, which I'll be covering all of those topics in my next videos. But for now, this is how you create and run your Hello World program. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys learned something about HTML and the Hello World program and how to do it. And this is basically a standard in every language if you're learning. Um, Hello World is the basic program that you always start off with. But if you want, to, if you guys have any questions on this, please let me know. Um, until we code again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave any recommendations or suggestions you guys have. And I will get to them as quick as I can. And I will see you in my next video.